This awkward situation occurred in the canyon along the southern coast of Croatia. Two construction teams were simultaneously building a bridge and only realized in the middle of the project that the two sides of the bridge were misaligned vertically and horizontally. Faced with this situation, should they demolish and rebuild or just make do with what they have? Usually, this kind of issue is rare because before constructing a bridge, engineers meticulously measure and draft plans to eliminate the possibility of error. However, when such an embarrassing situation does arise, there are ways to fix it. If the misalignment is horizontal, the bridge can be widened to connect the two sides. If the misalignment is vertical, adjustments can be made by increasing the slope of the lower side to align the ends. But if the misalignment is too severe, the only option is to demolish and rebuild or use a curve design to gradually bring the misaligned sections together. In the case of the bridge we saw at the beginning, despite the misalignment in all directions, the workers weren't worried at all. This is because the bridge sections were constructed inside a tunnel beforehand and then gradually pushed out, allowing for small adjustments to be made in all directions. After some adjustments a perfect bridge was completed. However, not all bridges need to be strictly aligned during construction. Some designers prefer innovative misaligned designs, like Japan's Ishima Ohashi Bridge. From a conventional perspective, this bridge might seem like a construction error because one side of it has a slope of 6.1%, rising approximately 6 meters for every 100 meters. This gives drivers on the bridge a roller coaster like experience. Another example is China's Taogong Bridge, which seems to defy logic as it has no piers or supports, yet has stood for over 30 years. These examples show that bridge construction is indeed an art. Aside from construction errors, another fascinating bridge in Hebei appears to be parallel as if the two sides are unrelated. Why was it designed this way? It's actually another world record achievement for China because this bridge can dance ballet. Since the bridge was built over a critical railway line, it was designed to rotate so as not to disrupt the train traffic below. The bridge utilizes internationally advanced rotating tower technology. The magnetic tower bridge is 204 meters long and weighs 35,000 tons, while the motor tower bridge is 263 meters long and weighs 46,000 tons. Normally the two bridges function independently but when they need to connect the rotating towers will slowly turn at a speed of 1.5 degrees per minute until they merge. The key to this rotation lies in the rotating device at the base of the bridge, a 6.5 meter diameter, 90 2-ton rotating ball structure. The structure is divided into two main parts, the upper contact surface, which is a smooth spherical structure, and the lower ball foot that allows mutual rotation. This allows the massive bridge to bear heavy loads and rotate. Witnessing the elegant rotation of these two bridges at night is a reminder of the immense strength of China's infrastructure. If you're fascinated by engineering marvels and the incredible feats of modern infrastructure, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think is the most impressive bridge design you've ever seen?